I got my looks on. I don't even wear glasses. <laughs> I look like a, a dweeb. I'm a dweeb. So check this out. I got a story, right? So a couple of videos ago, I was like setting intentions, right? All throughout the day. Create a great day. And you know, I was like, I'm going to manifest $222. And I found $20 on the ground that day and it made my fucking day, right? It made my week, it finished off my weekend very well. And uh, I was walking last night and I always do my nightly walks with visualization and focusing on my vision and raising my energy and high vibing so I can attract the life that I am worthy of. Not that I deserve, but what I'm worthy of, my motherfucking divine birthright. So I'm walking and I look down and I find these glasses on the ground, right? I just pick them up. I said, these are my, my spirit glasses. Whenever I want to see spirit, I just throw them on. <laughs> sure enough, I get home and I put them on and I start, I use them to see how well I could see in them. And I actually could see better in the glasses than I can with my own fucking eyes. Never even knew I needed glasses. It's weird. But the glasses were worth $222. What are the odds of that? But I think the universe wants me to fucking hold on to them because I think I need glasses. I don't know. It's all good. How you doing, brother? And uh, so it's just odd, you know? It's, it's what the moral of the story is, you know, we create intentions. And it's important not to be attached to how that intention comes about, you know? Because it comes about in the weirdest ways and we'll never expect. And when we sit there and expect it to come a certain way, our eyes are glued to the left and all our fucking manifestations that we're trying to track are going on on the other, on the under, on the other end. But we're looking over here, distracted. So keep an open mind. Quit acting like you know how it's gonna come because you'll never guess. I'm leaving to California. Leave on the 11th. Just decided. I don't have. Just like I left Illinois. Just like I left Illinois. Really don't know where it's guiding me. I just know that it is. How you doing? I just know that it is, and I have nothing but faith that I'm gonna be guided exactly to where I need to be, right? Because here's the thing, when you hop, when you get in alignment on your life path and on your journey, you start attracting all these people that are there to assist you, right? But be mindful, be mindful that we would like to think and believe like, oh, this, we have a purpose together. You know, in the beginning, it might feel like that, right? Because this goes back to the seven the scene mirrors. And if you're not familiar with that, I mentioned it in a few other videos. Seven the scene mirrors by Greg Brading. Check it out. And throughout life, we'll attract certain individuals into our lives that mirror aspects of us. That doesn't mean that they're permanently going to be in our lives forever. You know, they might be there to just mirror something back to us. We embody that aspect that they're mirroring or we release it it's either going to be a release something that you don't want to carry or it's going to be something that you, you you used to embody but you lost you gave it away you have taken it from you whatever it is so be mindful and just don't label <laughs> don't label because it will hold you back you'll be like oh these people we're supposed to have a purpose together we're supposed to have a a plan right but nobody's really fucking taking action everybody's has these fucking dreams and these aspirations right but that's all they are that's all they are is thoughts they don't even have the emotions to go with it you know how i know they don't because if they had the emotion that emotion is going to drive them to fucking take action on whatever it is that they want to accomplish whatever it is but if you're if you sit there and tell yourself this is my path and this is my purpose, but there's no fucking drive within you and you are not like inspired to do it. It's probably not. And you're probably thinking, oh, I'm gonna make money off of this and this is how I'm gonna fucking survive. And if you're fucking thinking that your purpose has anything to do with surviving, you're fucking lost. And that's okay, we're all lost. 
It's okay to be lost, but we have to say, okay, I'm fucking lost. I don't know where I'm going. I'm chasing a dollar and I'm not chasing my dream. And you have to ask yourself, because I'm gonna tell you this right now. I don't heal. I don't heal to pay the bills, baby. I heal because that's what I was put here to do, you know? And we all heal in different ways. We all send our healing in different ways, whether it's through our words, our vibrations, our actions, just being that example. You're healing, you know? Because even if somebody sees you doing something, right? And saying, wow, you know, I need to be doing that. I'm not doing that. Why aren't I doing that? And you're being that example to show them what they're not doing and what they could be doing. So a lot of times we don't even have to say anything to anybody. We don't even have to preach. We don't have to do any of that. All we have to do is just be the example. You know, and I realize that. And then if someone comes up to you, that's God. That's God coming up to you and saying, hey, I need some help. I need some assistance. And it's up to us to assist that individual. You know what I mean? So we don't have to go looking to help anybody. It's going to find us. And then when we get to where we're going and we're confident where we're at, then we could start reaching out and helping. But be mindful of the people you attract and what they're mirroring back to you because they're trying to share something with you. They are. And in my case, that keeps on fucking being a cyclical pattern is I attract people that make me think that we have something to do together, but nothing gets done and everybody's focused on their own shit and that's cool. But me, I'm like, how are we supposed to serve one another? You know, how are we supposed to serve one another? And I sit there and I reflect on it and I'm waiting in the vibration of waiting for my next sign to see, okay, what's this person bringing and what am I bringing? And nothing ever comes and that's all I'm doing is just fucking waiting. And the universe is saying, look, that's a pattern that you do within your life. You fucking become codependent on people, whether it's just waiting on their part or what they have to have, like what they're gonna do for you or whatever it is, even if it's fucking seems selfish. All they're doing is holding you back sometimes, you know? And that's not that's not an insult. If you fucking take it as an insult, go within and find out why. But what I'm saying is, is no one should hold you back. You didn't come out the pussy with nobody but yourself. And that's who you're going to leave with. Not saying that you're going to fucking fulfill your divine purpose all by yourself. Because that's probably fucking some bullshit. And like I said, we're here to help one another no one could do anything on their own forever so I decided okay I see what these people are mirroring to me and I see what I need to embody and I see what my purpose is <laughs> and it's not just one there's a whole bunch of shit going on here you know but it's teaching me sharing with me what is in store for me, you know? So pay attention, like maybe you keep on attracting musicians, artists, poets, fucking whatever. It's probably telling you like, hey, this has to do with your purpose. Not saying that this person has anything to do with your purpose, but they're showing you that this is the direction. You know, whether it's music, art or whatever, just pay attention to it, you never know. You know, I would have never assumed that I was going to fucking, that I'd have anything to do with music. And, you know, sometimes I still question it, but I know music flows through me. And when I'm in that fucking vibration and I'm hearing that song and I'm singing, I'm in it. And I, I could realize I'm a fucking performer on every fucking level, on every level. And how I perform is just letting my inner child fucking express himself. And that's all it is. That's all it is, is allowing your inner child to come out and express itself. And it's going to fucking just show you what you need to know. So in order to fucking find your purpose, you have to heal your inner child. You have to go within. And if you're not fucking doing that, you're never going to find your purpose. You're never going to connect to your highest potential. Never. Because your highest potential is linked to your inner child. And that's what I'm fucking healing right now. And it's fucking, I can't, I, I'll never say, oh, it's healed. It's never healed. You're always healing. And that's good. You're always growing. At least you should be. And if you're not, 
question. Why am I stagnant? Why am I fucking just sitting around? Why am I in the vibration of waiting? And if you are in the vibration of waiting and you feel, because sometimes spirit will do that. Spirit will sit your ass down like this whole time in Washington. It was a bunch of fucking sitting down. A majority of my time in Washington, I probably good, I probably spent a good eight, eight of the fucking 12 months in a room that I was in Washington or in nature. Healing, healing, not fucking with anybody. Very, very little. And if it didn't resonate with me, I'm fucking keep on moving. Keep on moving. And you'll know when you need to pursue something. You'll just know. So just keep on going with your journey. And it's going to be a time where you're going to have to fucking step out that comfort zone. That comfort zone. Whatever it is. If it's leaving your job that is making you miserable. Cutting that relationship out that's holding you back. So many times we attract these relationships in our life, right? And we share our past with them, right? And these people are so stuck in their fucking old programming that they're actually basing your future on your past for you. But more times, but more than likely, they're just mirroring back what you're doing to yourself. Are you basing your whole future on your past? Saying, well, I can't do that. I have a felon. Well, I can't do that because I'm fucking addicted to drugs and I can't even fucking maintain or I can't do that because I'm fucking codependent on this person and if I leave I feel like my whole fucking sense of security is just taken out from under me these are things we have to deal with we have to deal with they're not just going to go away they're just going to keep on getting worse I'm telling you that they're going to keep on getting worse until you're sitting out here sleeping on this fucking park bench on this fucking park bench I see it all the time, you know? And like I said, I don't go reaching out, but if someone comes up and talks to me, I try to share a kind word and share what I think will serve them. Whenever I meet someone, I say, okay, you sent me this person, universe. How may I serve them? What do I need to share with them? Or maybe there's something that I need to be open that they're trying to share with me. And just keep an open mind. Quit acting like you fucking know everything. Start practicing not knowing, you know, get out of the, um, the conceptual mind and step into your awareness as Eckhart Tolle would tell you, the conceptual mind is always needy, is always conceptualizing things and putting concepts and labels and needs on everything. And if you ain't fulfilling them needs and you're hanging around in there, it's gonna send you these negative vibrations. It's gonna make you feel like shit and you're gonna react to it. For example, I'll give you an example, like struggling smoking, you know, nicotine. Nicotine's probably the worst thing because the cravings come so fucking frequently that you can't even focus on your creativity because you're always having this fucking nicotine craving in the back of your mind. It's worse than heroin, I'm telling you, because at least with heroin, you fucking bang a bag, you're good for a good hour or two. You ain't really thinking about it. To your next fix, but with a cigarette or a vape pen, it's bam, let me hit it, let me hit it, let me hit it. It's fucking unforgiving. So if I spend my time in my conceptual mind labeling things and saying what's not there, I hang around and say, well, I need a fucking, I need a black and mild or I need some fucking e juice. And I hang around in there and it starts sending me these negative vibrations that make me want to react and start going to look for shit. And that's what the fucking conceptual mind will do. It will send you off. Now, sometimes it works out in your benefit, but you have to be mindful of it. Like for example, the other day I had one of these cravings and I, I told myself that I wasn't going to, but the urge was so fucking unreal that I reacted to it. So I went and got a fucking, a black and mild. I don't know what I got, but on the way there, I had met someone. I had met this, this guy, this kid. It's like 25 years old. And like I said, it was another mirror of me. I was met to met this kid. He fucking, he, I'm, it's on this trail. He's coming out this lake. And all of a sudden he goes, oh, fucking, I love you, tree. And I was like, fucking right, man. Love that tree, bro. Fucking love that tree. And he goes, no, the fucking tree stabbed me in my eye. I'm like, oh, okay. And I kept walking, right? Because I don't, I don't fuck with people like that, right? <laughs> fuck with humans. 
And he just kept on following me. He's like, where are you going, man? You want to hang out? I just thought it was odd. And I'm like, God was like, I sent you him. Open up. So I was like, why? What do you got in mind, man? He's like, you hungry? I'm like, I ain't got no money, man. I was like, I ain't really got much right now. He's like, no, I got you, man. Will you fucking go to uh, fucking the store or something, man? I'll buy you something. I'm like, okay, cool. So we go to the gas station. We get a whole bunch of snacks and we go back to his house. And like I said, he's just mirroring back all this shit to me, you know? And he was, he's still an addict. I could tell because he fucking just heart of gold, heart of fucking gold. But he's just fucking stuck in that trauma fucking numbing himself with alcohol cigarettes and fucking weed and fucking pain pills and dope whatever whatever right so like i said we have these mirrors right so it's really weird like i am starting to believe that the universe <laughs> attaches us to these substances so they have some type of they have more control over us than we than we would like to imagine right because if i wasn't I'm going to get on a road where you guys can hear me. Because if I wasn't fucking nicking for no fucking tobacco or some nicotine, I would have never left the house and I never would have met that kid and I would have never had that experience and I would have never learned how important. Like I know, but he showed me how important it is to just be given to anybody. I mean, he came up to anybody and was just like, how are you? Like, that's what I want to embody. Like, I want to love people where I just want to know everything that you know and maybe you have something to share with me I want to be open to that and there was a point in my life where something closed me off to that and that's what I'm trying to find right now and I'm I'm confident that I will but it is what it is that's what I'm saying these things happen I'm all over the place right I'm all over the place it's all good though you got my lokes on feeling good smelling good i got about six days until i'm headed to cali don't know what i'm doing but i know the universe knows and they only let me know a little bit at a time they're like no you gotta trust and i did it last time I did it last time except this time that was a complete leap of faith like the signs were there but not as much as they are here not as much as they are here like i will fucking put on like i'll be like hey alexa play some classic rock It'll play like 10 songs that are like pretty much giving me a message that, hey, it's time to go, you know? It's time to go. It's fucking amazing. It's amazing. The universe talks if you listen. But if you're not listening, you probably got your fucking earbuds in or your phone glued to your fucking face or in your conceptual mind. And I encourage you to step out of it. But I have another video coming up too. I think it's kind of enlightening. Um... I forgot what it is. I always, you know, I'll watch a YouTube video and I'll get an idea. And then I'll just put a message in my phone. And then whatever flows through that when I get on here is what flows through it. So probably another video. Either way, stay posted. Much love. Guess remember, love yourself.